Every business needs an amazing product and phenomenal marketing. For me, these are two key aspects of a successful business. And the Netflix movie, Bridgetons, in my opinion, nailed this to perfection. In today's video, we will break down the numbers, including cost of production, actor salaries, and how this information is relevant to you as a small business owner. Let's begin. The production budget for Bridgeton is over $164 million and an estimated budget of around $7 million per episode. So far, it has had a total of 8 episodes in the first season. This brings the total budget to around $56 million. The cast of Bridgetons is comprised of talented actors, many of whom are relatively new to the industry. For the first season, Phoebe, who played the role of Daphne, was paid $50,000 per episode. Paige, who played the role of Simon Bassett, was also paid $50,000 per episode. Andor was paid $20,000 per episode for the role of Lady Danbury. Jonathan was paid $20,000 per episode for the role of Anthony. And Nicola was paid $15,000 for each episode to play the role of Penelope. For a movie with a budget of over $56 million, the salaries of the major actors is less than $5 million, which is only around 8.9% of the entire movie budget. This is something I have seen over and over in multiple businesses, and I am not saying that it is right or wrong, I am just acknowledging its existence. I see this where I work in my day job, where the boss makes at least 12 times what most employees make. I have seen this too across multiple businesses as well. Steven Carvota is slowly becoming my favorite YouTuber because of his business model, but even him pays his app developers $5,000 to $10,000 one time for an app that continuously generates him $30,000 per month. And even YouTubers pay their content creator team much less than the video eventually generates over its lifetime. Here lies lesson number one. You need amazing talent to run your business or create your product. What you pay them also has to be less than a certain threshold, else the possibility of making profit recedes. After you have secured good talent and you have a good product, then you move to marketing. While the exact amount spent on advertisement for the movie Bridgetons is not known, lots of evidence exists to back up the presupposition that Bridgetons was a success. Netflix's second quarter financial report is out and they reported a profit. Granted, this cannot be attributed exclusively to Bridgetons, but it certainly played a huge role. Britain has also reported that Bridgetons injected a quarter of a billion dollars into the country's economy. Netflix went all out to promote Bridgetons with a lot of creative marketing strategies. They held big events like the Bridgeton Promenade Experience in New York, where there were dance performances, photo opportunities, and appearances by the cast. Before new seasons were released, Netflix also used social media to tease fans with previews and character introductions. They even teamed up with brands like Kiko Milano and Allure Bridals, which fit the show's style to help build more excitement. Why, you may ask? If you have a good product but bad marketing, you would make little or no profit. The saying that a good product markets itself is not true in today's day and age, in my opinion, but you can let me know what you think in the comment section below. What other events are happening in the world right now and you would want a financial breakdown of? Let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.